warmest greetings of good health and safety from your respective homes. My dear students and faculty of Central Mindanao University, my topic is on online class etiquette. At Central Mindanao University, we consider it important that we maintain a safe virtual environment where exchange and interaction is governed by mutual respect between persons regardless of sex, gender, sexual preference and orientation, nationality, ethnicity, creed or religion and even position. It is highly enjoined that we demonstrate utmost care and courtesy to all when using and navigating the official university learning management system, the support platforms, and the entirety of Central Mindanao University virtual space. Thus, we invite the community of teachers and learners to exhibit proper behavior befitting a CMU1 and consider the use of appropriate language and to always be sensitive to tone and syntax when leaving your virtual imprints. Communication is via written text in an online environment because this means you will be missing body language cues and immediate feedback from your listener. It is very important to understand some common rules for good online etiquette. So this ensures that the message that you intend to convey is received correctly. Now with the new normal, many students are moving to online learning who may never before have attended an online meeting. So especially for the purposes of receiving instruction or carrying on an academic discussion with others. So because of this, we are providing this netiquette guide to help students know how to conduct themselves appropriately in an online meeting or classroom. Now, proper etiquette is nothing new for most people. Now, you grew up with your parents constantly telling you to mind your manners. So while many of these guidelines may seem to be obvious, a new medium of communication can tend to throw off some of our instincts for proper etiquette. And so we thought it would be helpful to provide you a baseline of expectations from which teachers can draw as they work to develop an ideal online atmosphere for learning. Therefore, it is important to recognize that the online classroom is in fact a classroom. So certain behaviors are expected when you communicate with your peers and your instructors. So these guidelines for online behavior and interaction are known as netiquette. And so therefore, what is netiquette? These are essentially rules and norms for interacting with others on the internet in a considerate and respectful way. These are proper guidelines for online behavior and interaction. And these rules of etiquette are those that apply to online communication. So therefore, these are the online learning etiquette guide. Now, what are the benefits for this netiquette? So one is that it helps make the individual postings easy to follow. It keeps the conversation thread focused and the overall discussion on track. Now, the first stop is your identity. Now, we all know for a fact that um, students nowadays are very much um, loving uh, profile pictures of some artists, just like Katrine Bernardo or Lisa, Lisa Soberano, for that matter. So, as we go along with our online classroom, first stop is that you need to change your profile pictures. So, you are not Katrine Bernardo. And you are not also Lysa Sobrana. So therefore, you have to be proud of who you are. And that is your identity. So you have to change that into a formal, presentable, professional type pictures. No? Hindi yung nakatagilid. No? Or you are on your back. No? It should be formal. And then another thing 
is your profile name. Some students might have profile names like BTS, no? Burandat, no? or kung ano-ano pa. So these are not your real names. So you have to change these profile names into your proper names. And one way is that you need to open your Gmail account, go to manage account, and then go to personal information. There you can edit no, before going through your classes for the online classroom. Okay. Good thing for Central Mindanao University, we have what we call or we have established the institutional emails of our students. But nevertheless, some students might change these profile names. So it is a must that you need to um, indicate or you have to put forward your uh, the proper your proper profile names okay another thing of consideration no aside from your identity is your confidentiality so be careful with personal information both yours and others now remember that your password is the only thing protecting you from pranks scam or more serious harm and first things first don't forget your password because it's, the, it's only you who knows about your password. And do not ever, ever share your password with anyone. So you have to change your password if you think someone else might know it. And always log out when you are finished using the system. Just like when you do it in an internet cafe, for that matter. So be careful with personal information. Do not send confidential information via email no just like for example your teachers might be um, sending you forwarding you with different materials no you have to seek permission first before forwarding these materials okay another thing of consideration is your dress code study space and notes first things first be prompt or on time okay so therefore you need to Join the meeting or the classroom five to ten minutes before it will start. So, before the five to ten minutes preparation, kindly check on your gadgets compatibility. Because there may be cases that your headset is not compatible with your laptops or with your computers or even your cell phones. So, check for gadget compatibility for the five to ten minutes intervals and then punctuality is especially important for online meetings because in the absence of face-to-face -face, no they cannot get and gather students no to start classes on time now when teacher and students are in the same room together no the teacher can call everyone's attention so this is not the case no with online meetings. So students need to be extra responsible to schedule your day effectively. So some of the helpful tips for being on time includes you could use calendar app, no? synchronize it with notifications to your email and phone. No? So just like, for example, in your Google Classroom, there is no, a setting where you can synchronize your calendar, such, such as your due dates of different assignments to your cell phone notifications so that you will always be reminded with your due dates and with your classes. Or sticky notes, planners, or even to-do lists and scheduling reminders 15 minutes ahead of time. Now find also a system that works for you that enables you to join the meetings the minute it begins. So check compatibilities of gadgets. Okay, another thing to consider is your proper attire. You need to be on your proper attire and what is proper we need to be presentable professional no it uh, as much as possible with color no and then do not wear sleepwears no hindi yung bagong gising ka lang and you attend classes that's a big no no another thing of consideration could be that there are some teachers who might no that's a teacher's prerogative if they would require major students to be in their respective uniforms no it in order to set the mode that this is still classroom setting although it's online based no? so learning from the comfort of your home 
can make it feel desirable to dress down. So, but we cannot make sure, no, we have to make sure that uh, you are looking presentable and professional for each other, no? So, kung nag effort si teacher, the more that students must have, no, to make an effort. So, while students, no, may not be required to wear their uniform, there may be some teachers who might require. So, but it is our expectations, no, that students dress in a way that is modest, clean, and avoid unnecessary destruction, such as dangling earrings, no, or hanging cleavage, no? And then naka, uh, you are on your screen and, he, and your instructor is a male no? and you have this dangling cleavage over there, it could distract. No? Another thing of consideration, no? the, uh, avoid also sleepwear as well as immodest um, dresses. And also, it's always better to be overdressed. But I'm not saying you need to uh, wear your gowns. No, this is not a party. This is a classroom. And preferably, formal or corporate, or it's a plus factor if nakikita ng teacher mo na nag effort ka. Okay? Another thing to consider, choose a good location and background. No? Keep the background or environment free from distracting elements because baka yung background natin ay ang kalendar ng tanduay. No? So, that's a very embarrassing moment for us, no? So, we need to do away with those distractions. And so, it is encouraged, no? That it should be the ideal location. That it should be bright and quiet place. So, the important thing is clean and non-destructing. So, plain and neutral color background. So, consider what is in your background in the video. So, nothing is more embarrassing than an awkward or inappropriate poster or item on your background. No, if, if you will be studying in your bedroom, make sure the bed or decorations are not prominent in the background. So, nag, uh, nakakalat pa yung mga sinampay. No? Nandiyan yung kung ano-anong sleepwares mo. No? Nakakalat pa yung kung ano-anong libro o kung ano-ano pang bagay. No? So, these are distracting to all per, uh, people inside the Google Classroom, the online classroom. And another thing to consider also is that, aside from your study space, if it's a, it, it, it's encouraged that it's a room, no? so that you will not be disturbed and distracted. Therefore, you need to put a uh, do not disturb sign no? When you when you do classes, when you attend to your classes online, and as much as possible, do also a schedule, and you have to orient your parents about your schedule because they might be telling you and distracting you, disturbing you, and no, baka no, uh, ipagawa ka ng mga bagay, house chores, no. During your classes, you have to orient them. This is your class schedule for them not to disturb you. So, if possible, also, no, another factor of consideration is the possibility of background noise. So, kung nasa sala ka, no, you're not in a room. So, tendency would be there would be some chicken noise, dogs barking, no, and a lot of other uh, background noise that would distract. So. Or it could be your little siblings no? na that would distract you. So, if possible, have a headset. No? This would make your situation more flexible. So, as much or example, like there would be heavy rains, no? especially ngayon na tag-ulan. So, the headset no, would somehow neutralize or uh, for you not to be distracted with background noises. Another thing of consideration also is that you need to mute yourself always unless told to unmute. Okay. So therefore, this is to, you know, to avoid sound feedback. So to avoid unavoidable background noise, mute always yourself from the start of classes except when you are called by the teacher. So let your instructor know by a private chat message if ever you would have difficulty, no, that you cannot unmute it or there are technical problems for that matter. So this is the reason for us to, that these are on beyond control noise. No? Try to do this the sooner rather than later. 
So if it's impossible no, to find a quiet place in your current family scenario, no, kasi wala kang sariling kwarto or what, it's still important for you to attend the meeting. Okay, so and also another thing of consideration is you need to turn on your camera always. No? Because tendency would be, no, baka lakad ka ng lakad while class is ongoing. No? Or natutulog ka na sa bed mo and you off your camera. No, that's also a big no-no. Now, refrain from grabbing the screen of the teacher also or the speaker. Like for example, in reporting classes. No? Um, there would be possibility that you would pin yourself. No? You would grab the screen from your teacher. So just if um, you do have adjustments at first. So just apologize to the teacher. Okay. Now be ready also to take notes. So while teachers may have different instructions in different subjects and scenarios, online meetings aim to condense the time that everyone is present together. So, in many cases, it would be beneficial for you to be able to jot down no? and note on the instructions the teacher is giving or important information he or she is sharing with you. Because tendency in online classroom, we just listen to the audio. We are not taking down notes. So, we might neglect taking down notes. It's very, very important. So, while you can always ask later by email or another means of communication, or check the recording of the video, this can be time-consuming. No? Magre-review ka na naman. So you can adjust record sessions also. You have to seek first or wait for your teacher's permission or instruction. No? So it is often be helpful to be on lockout during the meeting for what you need to know to complete the next assignment well. Okay. Another thing is you need to review your notes and the recording later. So as po, when, when possible, teacher may share some recordings of the online meetings no? so that for those students who are absent, no? they can still keep up. No? Keep that in mind that as you interact during the meeting, but it's also always possible that the recording will fail. So there would be glitches in the technology. So it's better to take down notes. And it's also a good idea to take notes and not rely on re-watching later. No? Another thing is, it can be more time-consuming that you need to scan through a video in search of particular detail or instruction that the teacher gave you. So when you could have jotted it down, no? like assignments, quizzes, schedules of exams, or grading system. No? Now remember also that because an online learning meeting condenses down instruction time and live interactions with the teacher, it would be helpful that some students to use their notes and the recording for extra review of concepts that might have been difficult. No? Challenging math, science, or humanities ideas may not make sense on the first time, but reviewing the recording again the next day might suddenly clarify all your questions. Okay. Now, sometimes our brains need time to begin wiring new neural networks, and a night's sleep can do wonders to solidify all the basic steps and make the trickiest parts easier to understand. Okay. And another thing, number seven, give your full focused attention. No? So it goes without saying that giving your focused attention is one of the best things you can do to learn efficiently and one of the best respect you can give to your teachers. So however, when on an online meeting, it may be tempting to use another device like your cell phone, your messenger, or engage with someone or something else in your surroundings rather than meeting with your teacher's instructions or classes. So giving eye contact to the screen is a good way to show to your instructor that you are attending. Unless, of course, you are taking notes. Okay? So do not slouch during online classes. So give your full attention. Another is side conversations with other students via another means of communications are definitely off limits. So show respect to the important learning process that you are engaged in during the meeting, just as when you would be present in person with the whole class. Okay, another thing, you have to check your email or Google Classroom regularly. That's another thing to consider. 
So there are a few reasons why you need to check your email regularly. First, your teachers will be emailing your assignments, instructions, and links to your online meetings. So say, for example, your class would be 8 to 10. No? Don't say so. Uh, the, the teacher would link no? the Google Meet link to your Google Classroom. So while they would try to keep the schedule they have announced, there would be possibility also the teacher could experience disruption or technical problems. So they may require some rescheduling. No? So checking your email ensures that you will receive these notices in a timely manner. So you can also synchronize your Google Classroom with your cell phone notification for that matter. So it is also possible that the teacher will have to clarify something that was misunderstood or said incorrectly in an online meeting by email afterward. Or there are some teachers who might also include group chats for, for little instructions. Now, if you go merrily on your way with the assignment without checking your email, you may encounter difficulties that could have been avoided. So say, for example, there is an assignment due date for next hour, if you do not remind yourself for that matter, no, it would be a loss on your part. Okay. Number nine, you need to report glitches. No? So discussion forums are electronic, so therefore they break sometimes. So if for any reason you experience this difficulty participating, please email or private message your instructor. Or otherwise, inform your teacher of the issue. No? Chances are, others might have the same problem. Okay, for our general guidelines. No? When communicating online, always be respectful. The big word is respect. Okay? Treat your instructor and classmates with respect in email or any other communication. Always use Professors, no proper title, doctor or professor, or if you are in doubt, Mr. or Miss. No. Hindi by first name, no, unless specifically invited. Okay. Now use also cultural and gender sensitive language when conveying ideas both in spoken and online syntax encoding. Or like races, sexes, and heterosexes, comments and jokes are unacceptable. No? Or derogatory and sarcastic comments and jokes. Okay, another thing. You need to be aware of strong language. All caps and exclamation points. No? This, the usage of these things. Avoid caps lock. No? Because it can be interpreted that you are yelling. No? Typing in caps is considered shouting, screaming, or yelling online. So while it is easier to say, hurtful or disrespectful things without standing face to face with someone it is important to remember that your classmates and teachers are real people who are affected by the words you say and write because words can make or break people so be careful with your words so it's essential to keep in mind the feelings and opinions of others even if they differ from your own so if you wouldn't say it to someone by face, don't say it online either. Okay? So it's easy for us for written text to be misunderstood. No? Have you experienced that you sent a text message no? with good intent, but you, your recipient misunderstood you to be rude? No? So that's the same thing also with online comments and classes. Now be careful with humor and sarcasm also. Now, Social networking and text messaging spawned a body of linguistic shortcuts no, that are not part of academic dialogue. So limit and possibly avoid the use of emoticons. No? We love to use emoticons a lot of times. So in online classroom, it's off limits. No? Be cautious when you sing humor or sarcasm as a tone because sometimes no, it could be misinterpreted. No? Don't forward jokes also or chain letters no or chain messages so are an important email to other students without their permission no not only does it fill up their box mailboxes but it may offend people okay so be careful with those things be sure also to run a spelling and grammar check no especially on discussion boards and then remember that all college-level communication should have correct spelling and grammar. Okay. Avoid also slang terms such as what's up, what's up, 
no? Or abbreviations such as U instead of Y-O-U. Or acronyms like LOL, GTG, BRB, no? These are big no-nos. So use clear and concise language. No? Use standard fonts such as Arial, Calibre, or Times New Roman. Okay. 10 or 12 font. Be attentive to conversations. And be keenly aware of intellectual property rights. Therefore, ask permission if you want to forward someone's emails or messages to third parties. And also, keep in mind that all private emails is considered copyrighted by the original author. So do not reproduce any form, any online material without permission. And always give proper credit when referencing or quoting another source or site. So if your contribution to the conversation, like in a comment section or discussion boards, is owned by someone, you need to cite that author. Then be brief also. His tendency will be, if you write a long dissertation in response to a simple question, no? like your classmate asked for the due date of a particular assignment and you, you've, no, you've run through a lot of things, no? you have to be brief. Be direct and stay on point. Okay. Another thing is, be sensitive with your online posts. Don't post irrelevant links, comments, thoughts, or pictures no make posts that are on topic and within the scope or forum of the course material so avoid inappropriate material if it's not about the topic then do not insert those things next apologize for any accidental breach of etiquette now as human beings we all commit mistakes and so mistakes are even more likely because this is new normal. This is a new set of experiences and challenges. So it would interrupt our normal routine. So online learning is going to involve that sort of interruption. And no one is expected to be perfect. So however, if you break one of these etiquettes, no, whether it's being late, loud background noise, dominating discussions, or no, not being prepared, come right out and apologize sooner rather than later, okay? So apologizing shows respect to your classmates and to your teachers. So if you do not acknowledge it, your teacher may have to come to you to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So make that step unnecessary by calling it for yourself, okay? Now for our email etiquettes also, because you would be no, submitting assignments, quizzes, or major exams online. So therefore... Or when you do email your professors, kindly first greet them. Do not directly go through with your inquiries or with your questions. No, Do the greetings first. No, Good morning, good afternoon, sir. Then say please and thank you. Okay. Then submit files the right way. No? There may be teachers that would require no, a proper way of submitting these things. It could be starting with the subject with your last name and then your first name, no? for them to be more organized with the attachments. So it would depend on the prerogative of the teacher. Now, receiving work that does not adhere to the file format, it means that the student is not paying attention no? because instruction was given during orientation. So if you do not follow this instruction, you're taking the risk that your instructor wouldn't be able to, to find your work or your assignment no? because you did not follow the procedure or the protocols. Okay. Use also, no? save yourself and your instructor with a headache. No? So read their instruction carefully before submitting no? because nowadays we always love to click and click without reading. No? That's the problem. So that is why we always encounter problems and difficulties in terms of these new systems of technology because we do not read instructions. We are very excited. No? So what if, for example, the teacher throw a particular quiz and then it's right T or F, but you write true or false, then you get the zero points no? because you did not uh, co uh, concur to the instruction. Okay. Another thing is think before you send the email to more than one person. No? 
And be sure that you really want everyone to receive your response. Okay. Okay, forward. Moving on. For our discussion boards or chat boxes, what are its those and don'ts? No? Think before you type. Okay. So take your post seriously and review and edit your post before sending. So before posting your question to the discussion board, check if anyone asked it already. No? And there's already a reply. Because you will be repeating a topic of discussion. No? So do not do that. And another thing, stay on topic. No? no matter how intellectual we are and knowledgeable we are, we need to be on topic. Do not post irrelevant materials. Don't type on in all caps lock. Okay. And moving on, because I, I, have, I have taken that a while ago, don't write anything that sounds angry and sarcastic. No? So the joke things, no? And source, this is a joke or source of plenty misguided arguments online. No? Because your words cannot speak. No? It's, it's, it's your words against your intention. So do away with that. Always remember to say please and thank you online. Especially when you will be soliciting help from your classmates or your teacher. Be open-minded and respect the opinions of your classmates. Because certainly, you may disagree on something. So always be respectful when you differ with your opinions. So when you disagree with someone, you should express no, in a respectful and non-critical way. So acknowledge the valid points of your classmates' argument. No? Acknowledge that others are entitled to their own perspective. So avoid no, also short generic replies such as, I agree. No? Because um, one approach or strategy of teachers in the online classroom is that through discussion boards teachers might throw a question and you will be commenting on the discussion boards and you you may agree or disagree with your classmates but you have to have respect okay then if you reply to a question from a classmate make sure your answer is accurate like something about due date do not guess no na bukas pa ipapasa eh ngayon na pala na so be 100% sure about the facts no then if you ask the question and many, many people respond summarize for the benefit of the whole class then again be brief with your answers concise but clear another thing is don't bad mouth or call them stupid no you may disagree with ideas of others, but don't mock the person. Okay. And another thing is, quote just a few key lines. Now, if, for example, if you refer to something your classmates have said earlier in the discussion, just quote a few lines you know, so that you can just have to go back again and again. Then, before asking a question, check the class frequently asked questions. Like example, um, grading systems, no? These are in the frequently asked questions, syllables, due dates or policies, or class structures. Before asking that, try to research first no? with the previous references. So attempt to find the answers to any questions on your own using the search engine. So if your questions remain unanswered, no? feel free to bring, him, bring them up with your instructor. Okay, don't repeat someone else's post without adding something. Now, if you're confused or stuck on an assignment, your first instinct may be to immediately ask the question. But before you ask, take time to figure it out first. No? Baka it's already answered no? during the discussions and the instruction. And read first no? before anything else. No? Check recent comments before you reply to an older comment. Okay? And submitting an answer no? that is eerily similar to a classmate's indicates to the instructor that you haven't paid attention to the conversation. And building upon a classmate's thought or attempting to add something new to the conversation will show, that, no? that you're in, will show to your instructor that you are paying attention. No? Another thing, don't abuse the chat box. No? You might be tempted to abuse the chat box. Chat boxes are incorporated 
through the online classes as a place for students to share ideas and ask questions. But it should be related to the lesson. No? So the class chat box is not an instant messenger like you do with your friends. No? So treat it like a learning tool it's meant to be. Then, again, run, run a spelling and grammar check on your discussion boards or comments. And then, be forgiving. Help others. Now, if your classmate makes a mistake, don't badger him or her for it. Just let it go. It happens to the best of us. And practice makes perfect. Now, you may have more experiences with online discussion forums than the person next to you. Give them a hand. Show them it's not so hard. No? They would be um, appreciative about it. And then, participate fully, be it individual or group work. No? So at times, of course, if your teacher is simply sharing instructions with you, then participating fully means paying close attention no? to be sure that you understand those things or instructions okay another thing raise hand if you have question and politely greet the teacher and classmates and ask the question and say thank you afterwards so the fact is that the nature of an online format may increase the tendency of some students to set back and observe even if it's just taking notes make the most of it online no so this is a shared environment okay so Please also do ask questions, no? no? Connected to these thoughts and participation is the importance of asking questions during online meeting. So your teachers are there to support and help you, no? Now, it will only help the process of transition if you ask questions no? that are occurring along the way. Now, of course, if a teacher is in the middle of an explanation or a thought, then you may want to jot down the question first, no? To be reminded, but do not interrupt your teacher. No? Now, it's always also possible the teacher is about to address your question. But in a general view, an online meeting is the prime time to ask questions no? with the whole class, will benefit the whole class. Then also, do not dominate the discussion. No? Like, for example, isang comment lang ang classmate mo sa yo, sampung comments na. Okay? So it means that you're already dominating the discussion okay further be more careful with your words as i've said earlier be careful with your words it can make or break people especially online okay and keep up with all your assignments now one of the challenges posed by online learning is the increased level of responsibility that students will have for their own learning now, the, the, one of the myths about online learning is that it's easy. No? It's accessible. Don't forget that it's even hard. No? There would be a lot of assignments and no? group activities. Okay. So it can be tempting to put off assignments with multiple days before its due date. No? So later na, no? since August 27 pa naman yung due date. Okay. So that would be tempting. So avoid the panic. And feeling of constantly being behind the ball by setting up routines for yourself that ensure you're always on top of your assignments. No? Adapt a mindset that each day you will put in a solid day's work on school and learning. Now give yourself letter breaks no? and set a micro goals to ensure that you keep up the motivation. So online learning provides you with more flexibility in the structure of your school day, but you should actively design a school day for yourself. Now, on the other hand, if you set up bright lines and rules for yourself to get work done before playtime, you will likely find online learning an enjoyable experience. The reason this is such a crucial piece of etiquette is that your preparation may impact the learning experience of others. Because if in the next online meeting, you know, in the discussion reading, you failed to complete or you deprived the class and yourself of the learning that you could have occurred through your thoughtful, informed comments on the text, no? this experience cannot be recreated or made up if it is a loss due to your lack of preparation. No? So since hindi kayo nag-prepare, no? less ang comments sa discussion boards. So it's a shared learning environment. So be responsible. 
with your assignments. Now, respect the learning of the whole class by planning your work times well and keep up with your assignments. And on a final note, if you wouldn't do or say things in real life, don't do it online either. Beware of the electronic footprint you leave behind. Now, despite this being a new and potentially unknown situation, recognize that the expectation for school are still in place. So your teachers are here to support your success. And the most successful environment is one where communication and expectations are strongly held. Now, good netiquette means conducting yourself in an online class with the same respect, politeness, and professionalism that you would exhibit in the real-life classroom. Now, with these guidelines in our minds, students will be well prepared to continue learning as well as possible through online means. Thank you very much. God bless and good morning.